In this video, we're going to be multiplying a two-digit number by a one-digit number using the expanded algorithm, which essentially is like the box method that we've been showing you. You're doing the same kind of multiplication, except this time you don't have to draw the box, so it's a little faster. Um, and for parents who are still waiting for us to use the traditional algorithm that we were all taught as kids, you're doing the exact same multiplying. You're just adding down the writing down the answers a different way so that in the end it's a little easier to add. Okay? But you'll see the similarities as we go along. So in this example, we're going to multiply, multiply the number 36 times 4. And to, do that, and to do that, we're always going to start by multiplying with the number on the bottom, starting in the ones place. And since this only is a one-digit number on the bottom, a one-digit factor, we're going to be multiplying starting with 4. And in the same way, we'll be multiplying 4 times the digit in the ones column in our other factor, our top factor. So we're going to think 4 times 6, that's our first problem. 4 times 6 is 24. So we're going to take that 24 and write the answer up here, like this. For our next problem, we're going to take that same 4 in the bottom factor and we're going to multiply it by the 3, or the number in the tens place, in the top factor. So we're going to multiply 4 times 3. So we have to think to ourselves, 4 times 3. But really, we're thinking 4 times 30, because the 3 is in the tens place. There is a 0 here, we're just not seeing it in the problem. It was represented by the 6, which we've already multiplied. So we're really multiplying 4 times 30. 4 times 3, like we talked about earlier, is 12. And we just add the zero that we didn't multiply in our minds um, to get the answer 120. So 4 times 30 is 120, which we will write down right underneath the first product that we got, the first partial product. Notice that I'm lining up my ones, my tens, and my hundred is over here, so that when I add them up, I'll get the correct answer. And my two partial products in this answer, 4 times 6, 24. 4 times 30, 120. All I have to do now is add those two partial products, and I will get the final product. When I add, I start in my 1's as normal. 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. Nothing plus 1 is 1. So the answer for 36 times 4 is 144 using an expanded algorithm. Have fun!